clues to the violent end of the Bismarck and the fateful decisions that led her here lie in the mangled wreckage far below the surface. Some 60 years later, 965 kilometers off the coast of France, an international team prepares to make the first manned dives to the Bismarck. On board the expedition vessel, two German veterans of the Bismarck return to one of the most traumatic moments of their lives. Heinz Stieg and Heinrich Kunt are among the very few survivors of Bismarck's fiery end. Only 116 men out of more than 2,200 were rescued. This brings back long suppressed memories. The submersibles touch down at nearly 4,800 meters. Under powerful spotlights, for the first time since May 1941, human eyes directly gaze on Bismarck's decks. The subs will explore the remains of the massive wreck from bow to stern for up to 12 hours until low oxygen and power levels force them to leave. Then the team endures a two-hour ascent, surfacing in the black of night. Bringing with them the first high-definition images, evidence that traces the course of Bismarck's final battle. The next morning, on the expedition vessel, Bismarck's veterans begin a virtual dive into the past. Hein Stieg and Heinrich Kunt confront what's left of the Bismarck. Fantastic footage. Oh, what's that here? Just here? The images take them back to when a chain of bad luck and wrong decisions would determine their ship's fate. <laughs> 